Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Traders Terminal. Today we're going to talk about Eurodollar and the possible scenarios that it could be in. I'm going to cover Reddit waves, I'm going to cover uh, my algorithm, I'm going to cover my manual analysis and let's see where all this is leading us to. So as I said I have, or maybe I didn't say, I don't know, but I do have two possible reads on the LED wave part. So this is the first one pre-drawn there, so we don't waste any time. And basically what this thing tells us, assuming this is the first pullback wave, right? And this is a complete impulsive uh, move up, something like this is supposed to happen. And we are currently inside wave B, right? Wave B, I would expect to be with this kind of structure, all right? And if, assuming that this is a correct uh, analysis here, this is what I'm looking at, all right? So this is where my opportunity lies, right there, to the upside. Then we move on to the next scenario, which is something like that. This time we have extended wave three. Again, we're inside the pullback structure, all right? And here things become a bit trickier. Actually, we can do the same arguments for the previous count, but the question is, is that four finished? So basically here I'm reading wave number four finished and on the previous one, I'm reading this as wave A, all right? Of course, we can make the same argument that this is ABC and it's already completed, right? That being said, that could be completion already or is just the first wave of a larger structure and then number four is completed and then I'm expecting number five, all right? Either or, for me, the whole thing is about positioning myself in a direction which is probably, it has higher probabilities to happen, all right? We will never be able to pinpoint the exact analysis in terms of valid waves as it's happening, right? For those of you who are familiar with the theory, you probably understand that we adjust these counts all the time. But the moment you have identified an impulse, let's say to the downside, you know that you're looking for cells, right? So I'm not reading LED waves 100% um, by the standards. It's written in the books. I'm using it as part of my analysis. I'm not basing everything on it, right? And I'm looking for these setups from different angles. And this is what DTA framework is all about, the discretionary trading framework. So that's about um, the Elliott ways, right? I need to position myself in a place where the bullish structures um, align themselves, let's put it this way. They're pointing to the upside, and this is what I want to be attacking, all right? Now, this is about the LED waves. This is the second confirmation. Now, look what's happening on the short term, and the short term is dealing with these time frames. It's already in a bullish momentum, right? And it's suggesting to go long. The midterm, which is probably something that's more related to the time frames that we were looking at just now is saying possible bullish reversal is now taking place it is still however neutral it still doesn't have enough momentum or whatever the algorithm is looking inside right to flip to the bullish side but this one is already bullish this one is probably taking a bullish reversal there right and now this starts to confirm the LED wave count. I don't think any indicator, strategy, method, whatever it is, is 100% correct. None of them, ever. So by looking at different tools at the same problem, right? You somehow, at least in my opinion, based on my results, know that experience you get a much clearer understanding of what's happening. So now I have two things suggesting that I have a probability for bullish continuation. 
So all that said, let's go back to uh, the charts and see what we have furthermore. Now, while we're on the daily chart, we do have the divergence with a double bottom or a false break, depending on your broker. This could be slightly different there, but the idea is the same. Okay. The price was rejected right here. And now the price is breaking the previous swings plus monthly and weekly pivots right there. All right. Initial bounces we can expect and then break out above the newly formed highs. Now the price is consolidating or so. This is already good enough from completely different perspective. Forget about ways, forget about softwares, pure price action there, right? Price is not able to continue lower. This is like ABC, guys, right? And it's reversing and it's breaking to the upside. That's good in terms of buys, at least in my opinion. And then we can see where the stronger levels are. And based on the information up to here, which is December, mid-December or so, look where these zones are. From here to here somewhere, maybe we can include that one. So this breakout zone that was cleared is mega massive level and the price managed to break above it. The price managed to break above the um, monthly levels there, right? In terms of pivot points. Let's zoom in out. Let's zoom in out. That, that sounds logical, yes. Let's zoom out a bit. And we can see that even when we include the price up to here, which is end of September, let's say 22, Still, this is the most dense zone or area. And now the market is trying to break back above it. So all this kind of confirms the thesis of bullish continuation or at least another leg up if we're going to be doing, as mentioned before, something like that, right? And we still have this bearish leg there, no problem. But in the short term, or shorter midterm, the expectation for at least another move up starts to make a lot of sense, at least in my opinion. And this is where the opportunity lies. So in my opinion, in very simple terms, pullbacks here to good levels, given that you have your entry strategy, might be providing a very decent, good probability trades for the longs, all right? Now, if you're interested on how exactly uh, I'm looking to trade and to enter, right? you can check out the premium content. But I think this is more than enough, more than enough for you to develop your own thesis, your own analysis, and essentially your own trade there. Okay. All right. So that would be all. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.